Strictly Comics is now accepting books for pressing and cleaning services. For deals and promotions, go to Facebook at Strictly Comics. Click the Services tab for pricing and get a free quote. Be sure to join us Sunday, September the 24th, 6 p.m. Eastern, as we do our seventh affordable auction right here at Strictly Comics. Hope to see you there. What's going on, everybody? It's Edwin back again for Strictly Comics, and I've been away for a while. Uh, I want to apologize about that, but we still recovering from Hurricane Harvey. And really the reason why I haven't done any videos in quite a while is because I just really haven't been able to get any books from my LCS. They got their books that were supposed to come out three weeks ago. They got those two weeks ago. We got our new books from this week on time, but we didn't get our books, new books from last week until like Friday. So... It's been kind of a mix up, but that's pretty much the reason why I haven't done a video is just because I didn't really have anything enough really to do a haul. So, uh, but I got enough to do a haul now and I want to go ahead and show some stuff off. So thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Um, don't really do toys too much, but wanted to kind of put a little spotlight on this. Uh, I decided to go ahead and keep this since nobody was really interested. I got a bunch of toys, guys. I got a whole bunch of toys that I'm willing to let go for about five bucks each. This is actually one of them. Uh, don't know how I'm going to advertise or let people know about them, but uh, I'll figure out some kind of way. But in the meantime, I kind of want to uh, just just put them in a video. This one I thought was pretty interesting. Reason being is because uh, it's got a DVD or not even a DVD, it's a CD-ROM packaged with the toy. And what this is is actually a comic book. <clears throat> And it, as you can see right here, um, a lot of these toys have like other comic books like X-Men, Spider-Man, Silver Surfer, so on and so forth. And the thing that I found to be interesting about this was that this was like your first digital comic books. Now I know now you can just go to Comixology or Amazon or pretty much almost anywhere or even directly from marvel or dc themselves and get digital copies but before you had all those digital copies that we have now by the press of a button you had to get them on cd rom and so i thought it was kind of interesting so i think what i'll do is i'll probably open this up maybe i don't know <laughs> but i want to open it up and just kind of you know enjoy it and just check it out and see what it's like so i just kind of wanted to show that off i thought it was kind of neat this is uh what is this like late 90s this is uh, 96, so about mid-90s. This was your first uh, digital comic book uh, that was available. So, yeah. Um, next, I got this. I got a heck of a deal on this. I didn't... I, I asked the guy who I bought this from, I asked him, I said, hey... And actually, real quick, shout out to Scott and Andy from nerds of anarchy facebook page i don't know if they're watching this or not but pick these up from from these guys and i don't really know much about this i just was asking for some spawn figures because i really wanted the first series because that's what i remember getting um when they first come out back in the day uh he gave me this he had this he said that this figure can go for up to like 40 or 60 bucks i looked it up on ebay and sure enough they actually can go for that much only if you have the first lineup of this that has a serial number on it now they have different versions of the same figure without the serial number and those don't go for as much but i think right now this toy goes for about 20 to 25 bucks um depending on who has interest in it um you know it's just one of those things that's depending on which way the wind is blowing and whatnot so <clears throat> but you know i got this for such, such a cheap price that uh i think i'll hang on to it for a minute and I'll probably throw it up on eBay and, and see if I can get something for it. But I'm really happy to have this uh, medieval spawn completely covered in silver. Really cool looking figure though, by the way. So yeah. <clears throat> uh, my LCS is having a my LCS is having a pretty big sale all month long, and uh, a lot of their back issues are anywhere from 50 cents to a dollar. So I decided to kind of go through and see what they had, and I found this. Nothing special. First appearance of Beavis and Butthead in comic books. I remember actually picking this book up off the rack back in the day, brand new when it came out. And he had like up until like issue seven or eight, I think. I'm not sure. But so I went ahead and picked this up. 
Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, I'm glad to have it. Beavis and Butthead was kind of a big deal when I was watching them way back in the early and mid 90s. So a little bit of nostalgia factor there. Um, I also found this for a dollar, which was nice. Um, I've been looking for this book for a while. And every time I come across Marvel Comics Presents, it's really tough to find. What this is, is this the first full appearance of Cyber. Now, I remember Cyber being quite a imposing force in X-Force and X-Factor. And I think some Wolverine books, but he's not like a major villain or anything. But it's still the first appearance of a villain that has actually uh, showed some threats towards the X-Men, and especially Wolverine. So, number 84. Five is his he has like a cameo appearance uh, but this is his first full appearance marvel comics presents number 86 so really really happy to pick this up plus i really like sam key's artwork and so i'm, I'm just super super happy to get this um next i'm going to show some books that i'm actually pressing for a client i got some books from a guy uh earlier well, actually, at the at the end of last last week, and he's he's got quite a few books for me that he wants me to press. I'm happy to do so. I'm gonna get these pressed for him, send them out here pretty soon. But I figured in the meantime, I might as well show them in a video that I have. So, so I figured in the meantime, I might as well I might as well put them in a video. So, so here they are. Uh, Action Comics number five ninety five, first appearance of Silver Banshee. I think I have a couple copies of this already. So I got that. He also sent me Alpha Flight number one. I don't think this is the first appearance of Alpha Flight, but I think it's the first their first uh, series in comics. Um, so he sent me that. He wants me to press that, and I'm going to do that soon. I'm, I'm not sure if there's a whole lot of significance to this, although I do see that it appears to be a newsstand copy. But... Um, I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe Alpha Flight. I have a feeling. I really have a strong feeling that eventually, Alpha Flight is going to end up in on the big screen. Um, I think Fox owns the rights to these characters, and I think it's just a matter of time before these characters show up in a movie. I'm telling you guys, it may be a few years down the road, but I think it's bound to happen eventually. And he also sent this to me. I'm trying to think. This isn't. Is this a death of Electra? I think it is. Yeah, I think it is. Frank Miller, death of Electra. We know that Electra is kind of hot right now with the uh, Defenders series on Netflix. So I, I think I have this copy as well. Um, so he wants me to press that, and I'm happy to do so. He also sent me. <clears throat> uh wolverine number one now this book looks in pretty good shape it's got a few spine ticks but um for the most part it looks to be in pretty good shape and it also looks to be a newsstand copy so he sent that to me and then he also sent me uh number two which is another newsstand copy now this thing looks near near mint although it does got like some kind of little Looks like some kind of little tear or something down at the bottom. But anyways, um, I just opened these up not too long ago and took them out of the uh, box that he sent me. But I got Wolverine number two. Really nice, clean copy there. Uh, he also sent me Spawn number nine. The first appearance of Angela, which everybody picked up because they thought it was going to be something. And it wasn't. It was just a cover up so that Marvel could get their hands on, was it? Captain Marvel from Image. I'm not sure, but I but they went after the uh, they went after the uh, properties that were owned by the guy who created Angela, co-created Angela and Captain Marvel. I believe I could be mistaken, but but yeah. And then he also sent me a book that we are all familiar with. <clears throat> Secret Wars number eight. <laughs> Beautiful copy here. Um, iconic cover. First appearance of the black costume. So yeah, he sent that to me and uh, I'm going to press that for him. And then last but not least, he also sent 
this right here. I don't think that this is the first appearance of Inhumans. I think it's like a Silver Age Fantastic Four book, but I think this is the first time the Inhumans are in their uh, their own series, similar to the uh, the Alpha Flight number one. So I'm gonna press those for him and stay tuned to my Instagram because I actually have about eight pictures to upload from some pressing that I've done and I'm going to upload before and after results of these books as well. So stay tuned for that. Just follow me on Instagram. All right, so next I'm gonna just show books that, that, new, that came on new come book day Wednesday over the past like three weeks. Um, I don't, I only buy maybe two to maybe about on average now I'm getting a little bit more because I'm working part time at LCS. I'm probably picking up like five books a week and four or five books a week. So I'm one of the very few people that subscribe to Spawn at my shop. And so I went ahead and got the black and white variant. Um, I also picked up Superman Action Comics number 987. This is the lenticular cover. This is, I guess, the beginning of Oz. And I'm really looking forward to reading this because I actually am reading Action Comics now. Um, I just finished the issue that came out a couple before this where uh, the machinist has a bunch of people as slaves that he has these microchips implanted in everybody's necks and pretty much just taking control of them. Uh, and, and the last one that I read, he took control over Lex Luthor and was causing Lex Luthor to fight Superman. And then that was the end of that issue. So I have to figure out what happens before this one, before I read this specific issue. So, but I picked that up and then I also went ahead and grabbed not, I'm not even a Harley, Harley Quinn fan, but I love Jim Lee's artwork. Plus it's a 25th anniversary special of Harley Quinn. I probably will never read this. I just like the cover. So that's pretty much the reason why I picked this up. And then I grabbed which appears to be uh, Image Comics version of Harley Quinn from what I've heard. And I went and grabbed uh, The Walking Dead number 171. It's the first appearance and cover appearance of The Princess. Um, I know a lot of people are going crazy by that pink and blue signature of those variant covers at the bottom right. We only have the blue ones and those are not as valuable. So I just picked this up. I really didn't care about the blue signature. If we had the pink signature, I definitely would have tried to have gotten my hands on those, but uh, we didn't have any. So I, I just made do, I made do with this. And, and the thing about this that I like is that Walking Dead isn't um, being aired right now. So there's not as many of these that are being sold as there are when the TV series is actually on air, the new season is actually out because sales tend to go up in with comic book sales when that TV series is, shown, is being shown on AMC. So because it's not being showed, I think that the uh, print count is, is definitely a lot lower. So in my opinion, it's gonna make this book a little bit more valuable if and when she shows up in The Walking Dead, which I, which in my opinion, I believe is gonna be inevitable. So, so I picked that up. Um, keeping it going with the new comic books, I got Dark Knight's Metal. I still have yet to start reading this, but I'm definitely gonna read it. Scott Snyder, Greg Capullo. I'm glad that Greg Capullo is back. Love his artwork. Um, don't really know what to say about it uh, because I haven't, you know, I don't really know anything about it but I am going to read it. Uh, I also grabbed this right here, Venom Burst War Stories, number one. I pretty much just picked this up because it was a cool cover. I don't know if this is a one shot or this is the beginning of a mini series or what, but y'all know me, I love me some Venom. So I went ahead and just picked this up. Definitely going to read it. Started reading Venom actually today and going to continue with that. Um, Keeping it going with the image, I picked up Lazaretto issue number. No, no, this is an image. This is Boom Studio. Sorry. Um, really, the reason why I picked this up is because number one, it's a number one. Uh, number two, it's kind of a cool cover. And number three, I've been hearing a lot of good things about Boom Studios. And I need to get on the, the bandwagon here because everybody tells me the artwork is good. The stories are good. 
Um, paper quality is good. So I'm looking forward to reading this and I do believe I will read it. Don't know what it's about, but I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, but I'm hearing nothing but good things uh, with Boom Studios, so I'll grab that. Uh, keeping it going with the Venom Burst. I got Venom Burst number two variant cover. I just picked this up because it was a cool cover. It kind of reminded me of uh, Ultron. I guess a Venomized version of Ultron, so I picked that up. I also picked up uh, Clayton Crane's version, the connecting cover. Man, I love this cover. This is just a gorgeous gorgeous cover man clayton crane is is in my opinion the best artist when it comes to venom and spider-man and uh you know that whole that whole line of uh characters um and then i was able to get his number one as well which is another gorgeous cover you got mania down at the bottom right you got x23 um, so really, really happy to pick these up. Uh, and I also picked this up. This appears to be a really hot book right now. Uh, only two days after this book came out, this book was already going for 15, anywhere from 10 to $20 on eBay. The Realm issue number one. I think I'm going to read it because apparently it's hot for whatever reason. People want it. They're paying, you know three four times more than cover price for it i guess it's a low print run so i just went ahead and picked this up hot book definitely a hot book uh and then i picked this up just for the cover alone i don't really read the amazing spider-man too much anymore um but we are now on the venomized villains gravy train and this was just a sick cover love this cover absolutely love it i don't know if that's clayton crane I think it is Clayton Crane, but either way, man, that is just a gorgeous cover. And then last but not least, I just picked this up for a dollar, uh, continuing with this uh, tribute to what would have been Jack Kirby's 100th birthday if you were alive today. Uh, True Believers number one, Ant-Man and the Wasp, got this for a dollar. Really happy to pick up these True Believers, especially with the Jack Kirby stuff, because there's, there's no way that most of these I'm going to even buy uh the originals are just too expensive and this is just good enough for me so so that's it everybody that is all that i have for this week uh please make sure you like share comment subscribe i i always appreciate it uh keep god first in your life and enjoy your comic books till next time everybody have a great great week and i'll talk to you again real soon god bless you all Peace.